hello everyone uh, welcome to another video over here and hope you are all doing well and hope you are enjoying all of my videos so in the previous video we went and see how to configure a sand in a, a server 2012 and uh, we also connected to our storage through our sketch initiator in a server 2012 and in this video we will go and see how to install and configure a failover clustering in server 2012 and I, I have a iSCG over here target and I have already connected to my iSCG drive send over here using iSCG initiator and I have a two server and hope uh, this one is not connected so let me connect to the I schedule drive and let me disconnect first yes and connect okay connect okay so uh, I can see over here so let me go to computer management And over here, you can see a little over right there. And Dex management, and you can see a two drive one is 2 GB and 1 GB. So it's offline. Let's bring online. Online. And you can see a send drive over here. So let me go to S2 server 2 and in a server 2012 here is a server manager and you can see a few options over here add floor and feature and other server so here it's a great option over here if you want to manage another server you just add in over here and type S3 my server another server over here it's fine now okay add and okay so your server is already added over here so you can manage the server remotely from this uh, S2 to S1 so what I can do is I need to add a role and feature for failover clustering so just click next next and here you can see it gives you option to choose in which server you want to store so I select the S3 because in S2 I have already installed it so just click next okay and let's go to feature and fill over clustering and let's click next and install the installation is successful click close and if you go to server over here server 3 and manage and you can see your fill over cluster manager over here So that's how you connect to another server from one server to another in server 2012 right? manage server remotely and what I need to do is I need to create a cluster so click next just add so browse we need to add a server now find now so I need to add server 2 which is this server and server 3 so I add first server 1 and advanced find server 3 okay it will take uh, some time to verify the server 1 uh, so it have already verified server 2 and server 3 let's click next uh, just click default yes and configuration validation test just click next and click next run test so this run test will take some time uh, because it will validate everything that is needed to configure a failover clustering <coughs> so here we have already finished and test report has successfully completed and configuration appears to be suitable for clustering just click finished and just give a cluster name
test cluster and just keep an IP address of 100 so the cluster is test cluster and node is two node S2 and S3 and the IP address is uh, 192.168.0.100 Click next. Cluster we have finished and just click finished. And you can see a test cluster over here. Test cluster.jv.local. And you can see all the summary over here. Just click down and go to the node. In the node you can see S2 is up and S3 is up. So if you go to server S3 and just refresh this one and connect to a cluster test cluster okay and okay so you can see a same cluster come over here go to node and S3 and S2 is up if you go to storage dix there is one dix which is in cluster already and the size is 2 GB and if you go to S2 and go to dix1 You can also see over here same same dicks to GB. Uh, you can also add a uh, dix over here. No dix suitable is found. So what we can do is uh, we just go over here DC and create a new dix over here. Uh, Just very fast one dix device and other device. What's your hard dix? Next, 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 and Next. Spot next. Location. Next. So we have already created another Dix, and which is sent to and. Let me go over here. Manage uh, tools. Nice case initiator. And connect to case okay, center. Just connect this one. That's it. Okay. We need to bring online the dicks. So here is a 5 GB dix that I just created online. Initialize the dicks. Dix tree. Okay. And I'll put it in a simple volume. Just create a new volume over here. Same lies over here. 
let's just connect to the SKG initiator Fizuridix offline, bring it online. We also bring this one online. So both the dicks are online now. You can see a 4 GB dicks over here, which is connected through. And if you go to clustering, here it's currently one dix. Just add a dix, and you can see over here, five uh, five GB capacity dix. Just now I created one. Just click add. And if you go to server S3, and you can see already here is also another dix available. So this is how you create a a clustering for uh, file sharing so if I go to server here and this PC the current folder is empty let me create one So if you go to send and create a new folder over here, share and property and share this folder, permission everyone, apply, okay, share so the test cluster share. close and what you can do over here is go to the IP this IP and you can share share drive over here and what you can do is you just create one new text file and you just create just open this file the file is in cluster and what I'm accessing is from another machine okay I save this one and next day I again come in type 5 and I haven't saved anything and I just went over here to my another machine and I have a node over here so if my uh, one of my server fails if one of my server is to uh, goes down like I stop the cluster so server is down and if you go to S server S3 guys server is down and uh, S server S3 is up so if you can see over here here is a shared drive and test you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 the data is accessible still and if I try anything over here and save still can be saved because uh, there is another cluster which is still running over here and if I open the file you see you can see the same file uh, if we have a clustering feature then the end user will be not affected because we have a uh, failover cluster or we have a different node that uh, that will be automatically uh, on when uh, one, one goes down so that's all for this video Thank you. Thank you for watching.